Welcome to another episode of Lancer Custom Works, where I will be discussing the various mech builds you could make and play with Lancer. Cobalt, the perfect guerrilla fighter mech, its stat is actually quite average, though for a Horus frame, it can handle heat quite well, but has a somewhat short sensor range, however, that's because unlike most Horus frame, Cobalt can just make its own cover on the spot, no matter where it is, and if it takes cover behind a conveniently chest height cover, it can turn invisible, as long as you don't shoot back or get hit. Basically, just think of the Cobalt as Goblin but also the Commando, even its core power is just more blocks, you could even block an entire hallway with these, and you still have a ton of systems points, just ignore this and the burning molten print stock that's dripping onto your back. In the following 40 builds, it's not a surprise that majority of the Cobalt builds have Seismic Ripper and Slag Cannon, the combo these two systems produce can deal a ridiculous amount of damage over a wide area. The rest of the Cobalt systems are far less common, like Purifying Code and Immolate which are some of the few invade systems that directly deal damage, Forge Clamps when you don't want to leave a cover at all, and Fusion Rifle, which would be a very excellent weapon for consistent damage, but Slag Cannon is just way more useful for Cobalt. As for the roles, it's not a surprise that Cobalt is very controller focused like most Horus mech, it's also often a striker due to its short sensor range, but it still works at other roles too, anyway, we are going with controller striker builds first. A shockingly simple method to victory is a very normal cobalt, with uncle slag cannon for one free skirmish and cover every turn, with tss1 and slag spray for even more cover per turn if you need it, so then you can blow it all up with a single seismic ripper for a lot of damage, also dual vanguard hand cannons with roland and nuclear cavalier for even more damage, and bb charges when you want to just blow up a wall with quick instead of full action. That's basically how most cobalt builds will be built around, you put a bunch of covers around, and then make your enemies bite the dust. In fact, cobalt loves seismic ripper and slag cannon so much, you are going to see a ton of them in this video. Magic trick is also another cobalt with uncle slag cannon, which, with 16 save target from open door, is going to be very funny with seismic ripper, this cobalt also has purifying code. And immolate. They are very good at getting the enemies exactly where you want them to be, including the grave. Also, you have turret drones, throw some near an enemy with flaw minus to make them freak out. We playing Gears of War up in here is another Uncle Slag Cannon Cobalt, so you could always have your own chest height cover to hide behind, other than all the usual Cobalt systems, this build has forge clamps to make prying you off a cover very difficult, and fusion rifle which is very good at dealing damage when you can dictate the range, and with general inaccuracy of Uncle, you can use it to build up Brutal 3 for more accuracy. As a size half, Cobalt greatly benefits from Atlas systems, as demonstrated in this build called Die for Your Government, a JK1 Cobalt that can just move all the place, and in fact you could use the slag from slag cannon as extra stepping stone or to bounce ricochet blades off for more damage, plus, with invisibility from taking cover or reactive weave, you can hide well and hit hard with infiltrator, being able to utilize Siege Spec and Senti Main in a single skirmish can also be very painful too for whoever on the other side of the barrel. Lightning in the Pain is a more Atlas Cobalt, with Terashima Blade and JK2 for maximum power at close quarter combat, add in JK1, Kai Bioplating, and Flight with Ace, this is one mobile Cobalt, but the lack of Seismic Ripper might hurt its more ranged capability. Ninja Shape Idea is also another half Atlas Cobalt, now with Croil Rifle, JK1 and Multi Gear to have a ton of mobility, also has Horo S2 to use ideal image for cover, or false idol to disappear off like a goddamn ninja. Should I stay or should I go is a devilish half Iskander Cobalt, because it forces your opponent to move or not move and still get killed anyway, like immolate or clamp bomb, pick your poison, or send someone floating with tesseract, then leave them a hex mine below them as a gift, you also has plenty of knockback from stub cannon and repulsor field that can knock enemies into more mines too, it just works. Sticky Sam is another cobalt with dual slag cannons and lots of explosive charges, however, the build doesn't quite work as its creator intended, you can't make mine activate earlier with accelerate, but you can still move them through it, you can also just extend the grenade range this way. Sadly, the mine part of this build might not work out well from lack of forced movement on enemies, but if you have an ally that can move enemies well, this could be very lethal, and enemies won't know where you are until someone explodes. 
Tiny Choke Slam is a kobold that just wants to smash the shit out of people, with Titanomachi Duelist, Juggernaut, and Brawler combo for just all the ram and grapple, Molten Wreath Combat Sheet is just devastating up close with Chain Axe to Shred, plus having TSS 2 and 3 and SMN makes this kobold capable of knocking out even the largest mech in one blow. Little Burning Ball of Spite is another close quarter kobold, now with Pankrati to move fast and Infiltrator to smash hard without the enemy noticing until the last moment, Slag Cannon and Dual TSS 1 make for plenty of cover or knockback, which you can of course explode with the Ripper, it also has Ferris Lash just to move more things around. And finally there's Mitcher IGJ83 just like, another flying ace cobalt with flicker field to make it even harder to be hit, armed with assault cannon for damage or burst launcher to annoy your enemies, and from there on there's plenty of duskwing systems to impede your foes, like oasis wall for just a goddamn wall, neuro spike to disrupt enemy attacks, and stun crown because f And that's all on the controller striker cobalt, cobalt is limited by its short sensor range, that just means you should get close and beat the shit out of people, or just explode them all with Seismic Ripper, really, it's almost mandatory for Cobalt to have it, anyway, let's get going with the controller support builds. My turn to play with Legos is a Cobalt build made with a statement of DM doesn't get final say on what the map looks like, which with Omnibus Plate and Forge 2 squads, you can really change the landscape to suit your allies, also has Pepcock for some tech support, and dual slag cannons are always good for Cobalt. Let us enjoy this dream together is another half kid Cobalt, now with Crackshot Black Spot Laser to hit hard and make your allies attacks more accurate, and still can change the battlefield to however you want it to be. Next is I'm not attacking you, if you fail a save that's your fault, because, look carefully at Mimic Carapace, you only break your invisibility if you attack or take damage, meaning, if all you did to hurt the hostile is using Hive Drones and shocking them with Drone Commander Talent, you won't turn visible, this applies to Seismic Ripper too, and even when enemies get too close, you can just teleport away or stun them. Me clamps me sees me shreds is an, interestingly, swarm body cobalt that doesn't want to move around, with held image and spotter, it can provide a lot of lock onto its allies, and can just throw out drones and tech actions to support its allies, when things get real close, it can just horror s1 them and grind them up with swarm body or chop them up with ttt. This is civ 5000 u is a half black witch cobalt, so you can move your allies and enemies around, or just provide total tech defense with ice out drone, plus with mag cannon, you can just pull enemies in instead of moving around, allowing you to support with spotter too. Finally, there's emotional support hermit crab, because if cobalt like cover so much, why not drag one with it, then just either throw rocks everywhere, or support with talents or systems to prevent invisibility from breaking, but here's a better idea, cable winch yourself to an ally with guardian, then move and support them as you get dragged around, now that's way more convenient. And that's all on the controller support builds, thanks to all the system points, you can really just make Cobalt do whatever it wants to support its allies, it just works so well, now let's get going with the next batch of builds, the controller artillery. Vulcan is a Cobalt built around a Neuralink fusion rifle, it's very simple, just sit down behind cover, and use walking armory, infiltrator, crack shot, core siphon, kinetic compensator, and hunter lock to hit as hard as possible, with tracking bug to make sure even invisible enemies can't hide from you. I am fortifying the position is a cobalt with way too much nano comp weapons, so that when this cobalt throws out all the cover with slag, it doesn't matter with all the seeking, also, siege stabilizer for more range, and siege spec for a more devastating hit from its cannons. A creeper walks up behind you is just such a funny build, because with ext bat phase ready slag cannons, you can attack enemies behind wall, which even on a miss, a slag will just appear behind them like a ghost, which you can then explode with Seismic Ripper by tunneling through the wall, this works unlike line weapon because you know Seismic Ripper is going to deal 10 AP damage to any terrain or object already, it's just so funny that this actually works. Super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Is just a heat fall lucifer prototype weapon cobalt that's fully intended to get cooked fast and with nuclear cavalier and crack shot, dealing up to 34 damage if you are very lucky with a heat roll while still being very accurate, and with deep well, you can start to get a little more risky with heat when you are in danger zone. Also, plasma gauntlet isn't an attack and thus won't break invisibility if you apply it to someone. Finally, there's Slugathor, an odd artillery that's also designed to work with retractable profile and just throw out all the not attack, like throwing rocks, sending out drones, and bending time, 
totally not attack trust me, but otherwise, you can still just hide well then shoot someone hard with a mortar, and yes, Seismic Ripper is not an attack too. And that's all on the controller artillery cobalt, might not deal as much damage as proper artillery frame, but who care when you have enough systems points for all the firepower enhancements anyway, plus, invisibility when sticking around a cover helps with survivability. Lastly, there's the controller defender. The diplomat of slag hell offering asylum now is another drone commander cobalt, loaded with sentinel drones to make enemies think twice before attacking and scorpion for tech defense, with house guard to expand its range, which also works for black thumb to support its allies, and when allies are in danger, you can move them with ferris lash too, or move the danger instead. Niranokleev is with us is an exemplar duelist cobalt with a thermal charged OP Cal War Pike for a lot of damage, and hunter power knuckles for even more mobility, plus if there's cover around, great, just turn invisible and start throwing turret drones and seismic ripper, and if you face a really rough attack head attack, you have armor lock plating. Also, funny enough, tactician 1 works with drones, technically, so that's one extra use for your turret drones. Lastly, there's shiver with anticipation, a hyperdense cobalt with speed 6 and flight so it doesn't care about being slowed, with dual vanguard DSAS and pinning spire which is also range 3, so anyone that gets too close will be shot and immobilized, and with invisibility from mimic carapace, you can pin someone and hide, preventing them from breaking it, and with two of the spires, you can lock down two enemies at once. And that's all on the controller defender, which is probably one of the least fitting roles for cobalt, but hey, with enough systems points, anything will work eventually, and cobalt turn invisible when stationary around a cover anyway, so that's a bonus. Now, that's all 40 cobalt builds finished reviewing, I would like to once again thank all of my viewers who have submitted their builds for this episode. Cobalt is probably one of the odd frames that makes people confused on how to build it because its license is kinda all over the places but really, cobalt just loves cover, that's all, and by working from that angle, cobalt can do everything. Anyway, here's the topic for the next episode, and I'm sure you guys could guess even the next one after that now that we have depleted most of the options, that's all for now and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.